Okay, so a great start to the week. I have managed to break my Canon 80D. Not necessarily seriously, just a little bit. It means that my audio input doesn't seem to be working, so hence the yesterday why yesterday's vlog. Audio stuff wasn't great. So, I'm gonna put my camera in for repair today. I'm now using a GoPro -y riggy setup, which I'll be using, so hopefully the quality will be okay. I'm, I'm sure it will be, but just, First, was is a second fail now of the vlog, but 22 days in, I'm, uh, I'm pretty chuffed that I haven't done anything else. So hopefully that should be fixed and rectified. So this morning, done with my editing that is uploading currently, and then I will crack on with emails, and I have an upper body session to complete today. <laughs> Well, President Eisenhower was forced to cancel his trip back east today due to that young lady by the name of Brenda. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So, first day out with the GoPro rig. Well, it's actually slightly smaller. It's not too bad. But hopefully this is going to be okay in terms of the vlogs of the next few days. I phoned the camera repair place and they said they can fix it, so hopefully I'll take it down and that'll get done this week. I now have a client at 11 o'clock. I then have emails, programs, quite a few sign-ups this weekend, so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into them. Drop off his camera, upper body session, then I've got uh, some clients tonight and I'm done, so quite a long day. But we'll get stuff done, get this new camera repaired and then we'll take it from there. Session's done. Now I've got to go and fix this blooming ATD off to Oval, which is on the Northern Line, which isn't too far away, which is okay. Hopefully, I might have to rent a 70D, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully, this GoPro will last for the day. Baby, and you alone. So I am outside the, the Oval Cricket Ground. It's where Surrey, I think, play and England cricket, obviously. Never like it would be a week or two ago. I told you about how you go to some random places ever in London. Well, this is a place I've never been. Looks like a Vince camera shop. And boom, we should be back up and running. So I decided to just go and rent one of these 70Ds. It's like 100 quid or something. So I'm going to use this until I get my A to D back to make sure that the vlog quality at least is on par. You know, it's a bit crap, but it is what it is. I need to be, able to be a bit more careful with the equipment I've got. So I am done eating, obviously I was in Pret, had a little cheeky tuna thing, now I am off to Coffice to get some work done. I've decided I'm not going to train faffing around, having to get a new camera, get prepared, etc. So I'm going to have to go and get some emails done. I tried to take the weekend off, which was kind of tough. I did a few emails on the Sunday, but decided to take all of Monday off, which is, you know, it's important. You've got to spend time with friends and family and being self-employed. I've got to try and find that balance, which I'm always struggling with. So. Gonna have a coffee now, get all my emails done, get some programs written, send them off, and then it's some evening clients. Back to being a bit of a weirdo in the park in a big camera talking to it so everyone can stare and laugh at me. Okay, so little snack that I had 
Now, I didn't prepare any food today. That makes quite a big difference in terms of managing one particular macronutrient, and that's usually fat. Now, fat makes everything taste nice. Have you ever just had bread or toast with just jam on it? Tastes nothing like if you added a little bit of butter, right? Or anything, you know, you're not gonna eat a whole bowl of sugar, you're gonna add some fat to it. So something like a Mars bar or whatever is gonna taste nicer because it's fat and sugar. So I always find that really difficult to control. So what I try to make sure I have is low fat snacks or try and go for largely lower fat options, certainly early in the day. And then the evenings, for example, like porridge and whatnot, I'll add nut butters because it makes the porridge taste nicer, but it also helps up those fat just a little bit and I'm not over shooting early in the day, which makes things difficult later in the day. So my snack for today is uh, some of these Sky yogurts. I got them out of Sainsbury's. I then also stole, well, Technically borrowed, but I do spend a lot of money on Pret, so I did have a, a teaspoon. Uh, I then combined that protein, so you get 14 grams of protein in that yogurt, and I added this. And these are exceedingly tasty uh, flapjacks. They do only contain 9 grams of protein, which takes you up to 23, and that kind of hits sort of protein thresholds or requirements for things like leucine and stuff. Yes, that is a vegetable sort of source of protein, so it may be lower in leucine, but 20 to 30 grams per meal seems to be able to hit that kind of leucine threshold, so that should be fine. And then I'm adding a, an apple just for a carbohydrate and also taste to make it a largely mixed meal. And that's largely low fat, so it makes things easy to control and it's an easy snack to have. So maybe think about that when you're out and about, try to go for lower fat options and then maybe up the fat intake later meals. So it means it makes it much easier to manage and you're not overshooting and worrying too much about macros later in the day. So off to train three clients tonight. So that should be nice and easy. I've had a busy like three hours of solid emails. I had like six days to work through uh, after the weekend, but that's what you do when you take a couple of days off. So time to smash it tonight and then I'll catch up with you later. So last sessions of the day done, which is great. Uh, busy day today but I've got a lot left in terms of macros, which is quite cool, so I'm gonna be able to fit them pretty well. I'll take you home and I'll do that because earlier I talked about how fat, I try to limit that and I'll show you how I top that up using sort of nut butters and things. So I'll catch you when I'm home. So back home, promised to show you my, can I get it in? So my oh, oats, there, that'll do, yeah. So I'm gonna show you my oats and what I do to them to sort of top up my macros. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some, oh. See when you go to the uh, the cupboard and there's no dark chocolate you plan to put in it. There is some arriving tomorrow. I'll get that later. Anyway, so I grab some whey protein. I'm gonna have a scoop and a half of that. That'll take me up to 180 odd grams of protein that I need to have. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey and that will go to top up the carbohydrates that I need. I'm also going to add in some cashew nut, ooh, 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 cashew nut butter. That's almond butter. Yeah, one of these big ones, cashew nut butter. I'll add that to top up my fat macros. And then the oats are cooked in some 250 mils of milk and it's 100 grams of oats. That will take me up to my 2,800 calories. 330 grams of carbohydrates, 80 grams of fat, and 180 odd grams of protein for the day. So, a almost vlog slight disaster uh, averted based on the new 70D rental rig setup now. Hopefully I should have my 80D back by the end of the week, but all is good. Episode 22 is done.